There's a new exciting tournament happening tomorrow for college and high school anglers. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and let me just say thank you. Thank you to all the comments and all of the interactions and all the new subscribers and followers and everybody. You guys are just absolutely fantastic and amazing. And I can't say thank you more. I'm humbled. I'm appreciative. It's just amazing. So thank you very much. But if you're not a subscriber, click that button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. The Logan Parks Foundation will host the N-SANE, and that stands for the National Student Angler Network event tomorrow on Lake Martin in Auburn, Alabama. Now this is a completely different format for high schooler and college anglers, but someone will win a Nitro Z21 XL boat with a 250 Mercury on it. Now this doesn't go to the winner, this goes to someone as a participant. And what they'll do is they will randomly draw someone out of the hat or out of a bag or a number, however they do it, and someone will get that boat. It won't go to first place because they have prizes for first place, but some lucky high schooler or college angler is going to win that boat tomorrow. Now I have lots of notes on this because I just saw it today and I'm rushing to kind of get this video out. But some of the highlights for the anglers include they have a locker room recruiting session for high schoolers that want to fish in college. And that will be held at Auburn. And they'll get to go into the locker room and everything else, which would be completely cool. They'll also have a nitro boat draft. This will be fun because it allows the college anglers to select their high school angler. This is a college student and a high school student together that might not know each other, but they're gonna have a draft, kind of like a fantasy draft, I think, and that'll allow the college, the college student to select their high school student for the tournament. They'll have the N-Sane scrimmage, which is a warm-up, and then they're gonna have a Champions Gala also, which will have dinner and stuff like that. Now the prizes are the boat to start off with, but they'll have a $25,000 cash prize for first place and they'll have over $60,000 in scholarship payouts and trophies. And like I said, it has a completely different format. There's going to be a two different, there's going to be 150 anglers to start off with in round one. And that will happen from 6.30 to 9.40 in the morning. They're going to break that down to 75 of the anglers will go to the survival round and then the bottom 75 will go to 70 it will go to sudden death now their weights will stay the same when they get to round two which will they'll have a 20 minute intermission they'll go to round two will start at 10 o'clock to 12 40. during that round 20 of the best teams from the survival round will move on to the championship round where five from the sudden death will move over to the championship round now, during the championship round, that will be held between 1 and 3 in the afternoon, and the weights will be zeroed, and there will be no live scoreboard, so the anglers won't know who's doing well. It's a catch, photo, and submit that photo, and release tournament. Now, from that, those survival rounds and the sudden death rounds, those anglers who don't make that 20 and the 5, will also have an opportunity to continue to fish in the consolation rounds during that. And there is payouts of 4,000 if you're in the survival and 3,000 if you're in the sudden death. So overall, while it's a little bit confusing in the grand scheme of things, and there'll be a graphic that I'll use from Wired to Fish that you can see a little bit better, this is a great format. This is a great tournament. These are the things that I really enjoy. Now, I don't know anything about the Logan Parks Foundation, but I will after this. This is awesome. I think Logan doing this and the foundation doing this, this is exceptional for a young man at this stage in his career to start and to give back to the community. And that's saying something about the man that Logan is. This is respectable. This is really, this is giving back to the community, not to mention this is getting new anglers involved in the sport. They can see how the tournament works if they like to tournament fish or if they should just keep fishing as a hobby. So I should say, if you don't know about the Logan Parks Foundation, do yourself a favor and look it up. And let's go out and support what they're doing as a community. Let's show them that this is really great. And if you're a business owner and want to, and want to do some sort of sponsorship with 
Logan Parks Foundation. I'm sure you can find out more information on the website or through Logan's Instagram or something. But this is a really cool format for young men that are at, in college and in high school and getting kids out in the outdoors. And I really appreciate that and respect it. So thank you, Logan, and thank you to the Logan Parks Foundation. So comment below. Are you going to watch? Are you going to go look at the Logan Parks Foundation and try to work something out? Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Thank you, college students. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very soon. Tight lines and cheers.